Dallas County Juvenile Board held an emergency meeting to accept the resignation of Executive Director Daryl Beatty this afternoon. This comes after state inspectors made a surprise visit one week ago and launched an investigation. <laughs> Fox Force Lori Brown live at the Justice Center. Lori. Clarice, now the work will begin to create change here at the Henry Wade Juvenile Justice Center. County leaders say that will come by hiring a new director from outside the department, launching a study by a third party, and perhaps even changes to the board. The motion to accept the resignation of employee number 55649. The process was quick to make the resignation official. I would have to say aye. Aye. The motion. Any opposing part. Motion but advocates say change was a long time in coming. We know that by various reports, including what we believe to be the study that will come out very soon, will confirm what we have long known is that Henry Wade is a house of horrors. Instead of a place of rehabilitation, it's a place of trauma. Dr. Michael Waters Coalition of Black Clergy held a news conference earlier this month that included testimonials of poor conditions at the center from two former detainees who spent time there several years ago. Executive Director Daryl Beatty held a news conference the next day denying the allegation. What we heard following our press conference was that we were lying, that the conditions here at the center were spectacular, that there was nothing inhumane happening to our children. But one week ago, a surprise state inspection discovered otherwise. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins says he has not seen the report yet, but he was told about some findings. Last year, when kids were being held in disciplinary seclusion, um, outside of what is allowed by law and outside of our policy, uh, that was once again happening. Jenkins is one of the many who has been calling for change and greater transparency from the department. We're not going to keep these kids forever. And so even if you don't care about the kids in the juvenile department, care about the fact that they're going to get back and uh, out and be in the community. And you want kids uh, that have uh, been rehabilitated. Dallas County Commissioner and board member Andy Summerman said more changes at the board level may also be needed. We need a board that is focused towards children. We have a board that is made up of people who are very good and very well-meaning within their profession. But it makes perfect sense that we have people who know about children on this board as well. Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price defended the board chair. Board member, chair, Cheryl Shannon took swift and immediate action, and that's why we're here today. The board chair released a statement this afternoon that she will begin the process to find an interim director. Activists say they want to have a seat at the table to give input about who the next permanent director will be. Clarice. Laurie, thank you.